Hello there. In this final video on uh, proportional equations, we're going to look at inversely proportional. Let's look at this question here. Y is inversely proportional to the cube of X. When Y equals 5, X equals 2. And then we're asked to work out what Y is when X is 4 and what X is when Y is 25. So let's start with um, that proportionality statement. Now, we write that Y is proportional. There you go. And if you've been watching the earlier videos, there's us replacing the word proportional with a symbol here. But it's inversely proportional to the cube of x. So, we write the statement here. Now, what's the inversely mean? It means 1 over x cubed. Now we write our equation. So, y is equal to k times 1 over x cubed. Or better still, just do a little bit of multiplication, k times 1 over x cubed, k over x cubed. And now, as before, we'll use this information, like detectors if you will, to find the full equation. So when y is 5, x is 2, so we replace y with 5, k over 2 cubed. So, 5 is equal to k over 8. Now, let's get rid of that 8, that denominator here. So, we multiply the whole equation by 8, and we get 40 is equal to k. k divided by 8 times 8 is k. So, now we have the value of k. So let's put it back in this equation here. And we get our full equation, y is equal to I replace k with 40 over x cubed. And that's most of the marks. Now, we're just going to uh, answer the second two parts, find out y when x is 4. So, when x equals 4, y is equal to 40 over 4 cubed. In other words, y is equal to 40 over 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Now, we can see there's a common factor of 4. We get 10 over 16. In fact, there's another common factor, isn't there, of 2. I could have divided top and bottom by 8 to give me 5 eighths. And that's the exact answer. No need to give it as a decimal. Now, what was the second part? Part B. Find x when y is 25. So, when y equals 25. So, hit right at our equation. Just remind us it was y is equal to 40 over x cubed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replace y with 25. Now how do I get rid of x cubed? Well I multiply the whole equation by x cubed. And I get 25 x cubed. That's the left hand side. 40 divided by x cubed times x cubed is 40. And now, as we do with most uh, two-term equations, just take the coefficient of the variable and put it underneath. So x cubed equals 40 over 25. We're not quite finished because it asked us what x is. And x is the cube root of 40 over 25. And you can use your calculator to find out what that is. It's not likely to be uh, a, a rational number. It's likely to be a... a an irrational number. Right, now, well it will be, but anyway, that's another video. Let's look at, again, here's a different way to word it, but here it says y is proportional to 1 over x squared, and some more information. We'll come back to that later. Let's deal with this opening line here. y is proportional to 1 over x squared. So we write our proportionality statement, y is equal to, y is equal to, or big pun, Proportionality statement is that y is proportional to 1 over x squared. Now we write our equation. y is equal to k times 1 over x squared, or better still, k over x squared. Now we'll go back to the information they gave us. When y is 17, x is 4. So we're going to replace 
y with 17 and x with 4. So 17 is equal to k over 4 squared. Do a bit of arithmetic. 17 is equal to k over 4 squared is 16. Now I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 16 to give me hang on, 17 times 16. 10 times 17 is 170. 6 times 17 is 102. So it's going to be 202. That's 17 times 16. K divided by 16 times 16 is K. So now I've found the value of K. And if we go back to our original proportion equation, Y is equal to K over X squared. And here we have it. Y is equal to 202 over X squared. Now, two questions to answer. What is Y when X is, twin, is 12? Question A. When X equals 12, Y is equal to 202 over 12 squared. Y is equal to 202 over 144. Now let's divide by the common factor of 2 to give us 101 over 72 or it's an improper fraction. 72 goes into 101 once, remainder 29, so it's 29 over 72. Of course, you could have answered that as a decimal. Now, the last one, the last part of this video is, what is x when y is 51? Part B. When y equals 51, x equals, well, we replace y with 51. Now, let's get that uh, rid of that x squared. So multiply the whole equation by uh, x squared, and we get 51 x squared equals 202. Take the coefficient. Yep, you know the score by now. So x squared equals 202 over 51. So x is equal to 202 over 51. 51, the square root of that. Now, right, let's uh, demonstrate how we use our calculator for this. So we're going to find the square root of 202 over 51. So we type in 202. We use the ABC button because this is an old one. Uh, if it's a newer calculator, it'll have something that looks like uh, two rectangles separated by the fraction line. Oh, beg your pardon. Let's just clear that. We type in the square root first. Where is it on here? here we go. And then 202 ABC 51. Now, here's a problem. A problem. Oops, a daisy. Now, obviously, uh, may get another mistake. Let's delete this. Let's clear that. The problem there was I was going to find the square root of 202 and then divide it by 51. So I'm going to need brackets. So, whoops, gosh, it's a shift button, isn't it? And then put brackets and then 202 ABC in this instance, 51, close the brackets, equals. And then we have it 1.99 to two decimal places. Let's just write that down. Equals 1.99 to two decimal places. So be careful when you're using the square root thing um, symbol and the square root button on a calculator. Make sure that you're square rooting the whole expression. Anyway, thank you for listening. Eventually these um, videos become far more polished than they are and hopefully a bit briefer. Bye.